oddly not at all it wasn't weird at all it just was like the nostalgia of it you don't realize mm -hmm. like it's still if i hear todd rundgren hello it's me i'm like a person of tears what are you enjoying more at the moment are you enjoying directing more are you enjoying getting in front of the camera more what's kind of or are you are you just lo love both still i mean i think it just totally depends like sometimes i'm really focused on you know my my culinary line for prep on kitchen so if there's like if I have new products coming out or something, I really a lot of my time has to go to that. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, I'm I, I have a directing job that's coming up in a couple of weeks, so I'm focusing a lot on prep and for that job. Um, it just it literally totally depends if I and then if I'm acting on something, my my attention will shift to that. Mm -hmm. So I'm I kind of am juggling a lot. So the way that I'm able to get it done is whatever's like the next thing that's just like approaching quickly, mm -hmm. I'll just give it and really focus on that. So, Definitely. yeah. It's, a, it's always a juggling act. I know that we're not going to talk- a, The juggle is real. Right, the juggle is real. And I know we're not, we're not talking about too much about future projects, but I'm so excited about the 90s show. I think it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Oh, I can't thanks, wait. Yeah, it's so fun. It's yeah. all the two sets and it's, it's uh, well, yeah, when I first went there, I just, I cried. I'm just like, the, the nostalgia is so, strong and it was such an incredible time in my life and um i i can't wait for people to see it i think they're really really going to get a kick out of it yeah was it weird stepping back on set not oddly not at all it wasn't weird at all it just was like the nostalgia of it you don't realize like it's still if i hear todd rundgren hello it's me i'm like first of tears because <laughs> that's like the pilot song you know that was like the eric and donna um, it was a really pinnacle song for that relationship. But um, yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. Had you all stayed really close um, after the show wrapped? Yeah, I mean, yeah. We, were, I mean we did that for so long. It's like, yeah. how could we not, you yeah, know? Right. Mm -hmm. um, formative years, yeah. formative years of our life. And I know that you love to incorporate plant-based foods into your meal. So tell me how you do that. Yeah, well, I, you know, I consider myself uh, more of a kind of a flexitarian lifestyle, um, especially when I get when it gets towards like the hotter months. Okay. Um, I definitely tend to go more plant based for my family, and uh, you know, partnering with company like Vitalite is great because I use it at home and my kids eat it and love it, and um, it's just like a really great fit. So it's exciting. Definitely. Is it hard for you to focus on health and taste in your own kitchen, or is that something that you, you know, you know, make a main priority for yourself? It's something that I focus on a lot. I mean, my first cookbook came out in 2016, um, and that was all about batch cooking healthy meals and reimagining it for, you know, three days after that. Um, but yeah, I mean, a lot of my videos that I post, it's usually about cooking quick and healthy meals for your family with an emphasis on preparation because as a career mom you know it is harder to get healthy meals on the table but um it's all about having the right ingredients so this partnership really helps make that a lot easier especially with you know picky kiddo eaters you know i was gonna say you know how do you kind of trick your kids into eating healthy or do you have to trick your kids into eating healthy and any tips for that <laughs> You know, I, they've always been really great at eating their greens. Like since they were very, very young, as soon as my pediatrician gave me the okay, I've been giving them homemade bone broth in a bottle. Mm -hmm. um, I pureed greens. Um, that's, I think the main thing for me is that I was giving them vegetables since they were very, very little. Mm -hmm. So even now, they're they're great with it i mean i have someone helping me today with my kids because my my husband is on set and i'm here mm -hmm. and she was shocked at how easily my son just ate his greens <laughs> like the first thing he went to <sighs> so yeah i mean i like to think it's because i've been doing it since they were since they were really young and i have some fun tricks about how to make it tasty I love that. I, my son, he just turned 12 months and he only will eat sweet oh. potatoes. And I'm like, why? I'm like, I'm trying everything. I'm like, I'm giving you every vegetable, but you just want your sweet potatoes. <laughs> and it's like that, you know, and then yeah. next month, you know how it goes. It'll be a totally different thing and he'll only be eating, you know, pureed apples or whatever. I mean, it's just kind of the way it is. I mean, I have two now, My, you know, I have a four year old and a two year old. So I'm learning that everything is, um, it's a phase and then it moves to something else. And I'm getting very comfortable with the just kind of go with it, you know? Definitely. Is your four-year-old, does your daughter help you in the kitchen at all? I see some videos sometimes of the two of you in the kitchen together. So is it a fun bonding experience for you both? 
Oh yeah. Oh, she loves it. She absolutely loves it. Um, and the other thing too, is that I really love recipes that you can prep ahead, freeze yeah. ahead mm -hmm. and things like that, so that it's really easy to kind of get things on the table. And she also even knows that too. Yeah. So she'll use, you know, she'll be like, is this prep ahead? <laughs> you know, and stuff like that. Um, and then also, you know, I recently found out, I knew when she was a baby that she was really sensitive to, um, to cow milk. I already knew that, mm -hmm. but especially recently, her sensitivity has gotten greater. So that's another reason why I use, you know, switching to more kind of plant-based lifestyle really helps because she and my son are both sensitive to it. Okay. So in order to make them like quesadillas and tacos and grilled cheeses, I'm able to use the Vitalite cheese, which is awesome. I love that so much. What are some of your go-to meals that you love cooking? Like, you know, like you said, you're all about fast prep aheads, but what is that go-to meal that you, that everybody loves? I do love a chicken milanese. That's mm -hmm. a great one. Um, and also if you batch cook it, it's really easy to reheat. My kids, you know, they love their grilled cheese. They love the quesadillas. Mm -hmm. um, they love their, their pastas, you know, but uh, yeah, I mean, I have my staples. I always have carbs batch cooked in the fridge and then I'll mm -hmm. reimagine it, especially like brown rice. I always have a homemade bone broth in my fridge. Mm -hmm. um, and I always have spe my specific go-to ingredients in my fridge that I always grab for. Mm -hmm. Do you let your husband cook any meals at all? Or is it just you all the time? Because I, my husband's the cook in my family and he won't let me even step oh, foot in no the way. kitchen. Yeah, <laughs> he won't oh, let me step foot. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, my husband seems to think that like everything is a grill. Mm -hmm. And it's just like even cooking in the kitchen. I and mean, we live in New York, so we have like some smoke detectors and everything. So there tends mm -hmm. to be some kind of alarm that goes off. But he, he really is trying and he loves it. And mm -hmm. I love that he loves it. But yeah, he, he's trying. I mean, we definitely, like this morning, um, he made my daughter's lunch for camp and we just kind of, you know, switch on and off, which is good. Yeah.